Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Rosalinda. Hola, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for coming back, girl. And welcome to another Get Ready With Me. Um, so today we have exciting things happening. We are, for the first time ever, I know girl, I'm kind of sad at the thought of this, but for the first time ever in our 13 years of marriage, me and Wichito are going to take some professional pictures for... I think we're doing like a holiday picture session. That's what we're doing. It's going to be at a park, so really pretty. Super excited. But yeah, it's taken us this long to do something like this, like a professional session. I feel like over the years, like whenever it's uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, we have taken like a picture of us, like or whatever family gathering we are. But I've never had like a session like this and I never send out like christmas cards so i'm excited because i want to send out like holiday cards with these pictures and it's just exciting to have like some professional ones you know edited and all that stuff so this is our first time i am kind of sad that i don't have like you know i could have 13 years like we could have had 13 years of pictures and we could see how much we grown like how you know we change and all that stuff pretty sure if i look back and if i find i can find some in like my computer or in old pictures that i printed out i'm sure there's over the years they're there but i don't think pretty sure we missed a couple years so i'm sad about that but now it's like a good tradition that we can start from now on and do it having my little capsido um and we do have other special guests who are going to be joining us but not like with me and raul um i invited marila and leo as well so me and raul are going to take our pictures and then leo and marila are going to take their pictures we're dividing our time or 30 i think it's only 30 minutes so me and raul will get 15 minutes and then marila and leo will get 15 minutes and i might sneak one in with leo and marila in there with me leo and marila so i'm super excited um i'm excited to just like have some professional pictures and like i just think they come out so much better than when you take your own pictures you know i don't know i think they're so good so let's get ready i'm just gonna do a little bit um more makeup that i usually do but not too much i'm going to curl my hair and i still don't know what i'm going to wear so we'll figure that out together as well i have some options i just don't know exactly what and i've gone on pinterest and i've gone on the photographer's like page and okay what do people wear and it's kind of like a little bit of everything like some girls wear dresses and boots other ones wear like skirts tights even some of them have jeans so it's a little bit of everything and i'm like i don't know so let's pull some looks together and see what we end up coming up with i have like a little over two hours to get ready and i need to already do it um this doesn't take too long even the hair but i feel like deciding what to wear and i have to take out my boots because i think i am gonna wear boots from the storage as well but quick thing i know it's unrelated but i already took out all my winter clothes and i switched over um from the summer so the summer clothes is put away i left a couple of dresses and all the winter stuff has come out girl because i am ready for the winter but i'm excited for all of that so let's just get started all right so i already put my skincare underneath and my sunscreen i'm gonna start off with my foundation as always just with my fingers the fact that I don't know exactly what I'm going to wear is stressing me out a little bit. That's why I was okay. I need to do my makeup already and then get um, going because I know I'm going to spend a lot of time on deciding what I'm going to wear. And I think usually I do do like my makeup first and then my hair and then I wear my clothes. Like that's that's like the order that i do but sometimes you know when you're trying on multiple clothes you end up messing up your makeup or your hair and i didn't want to do that but girl i really don't know what i'm going to wear i have a pink slip like satin dress and it has some some like bedazzle things on it that i just got from target from the clearance section um it's really cute it's a size small so it's kind of tight so i don't know about that one and then i have another slip satin dress but it's black but i mean i think black goes with anything like it could be part of a holiday you know like it's just black makes everything timeless uh we can do that and then it'll be easier for me and roll to match and my other option is 
I have a red dress, but that one's like really out, like too formal. Like I feel like it would be too, too formal to wear that red dress. So I don't know about that one. I just got my concealer on. Pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my powder. What is this? Just set my, just gonna do the powder all over. Okay, but back to my stressing. Um, I don't know, I have to see everything together, like the outfits, I have to try them on to see which one. I should have done this yesterday, but I was doing the whole closet rearranging and putting, um, switching all my clothes. So that's why I didn't have time to do it yesterday but I really should have instead of right now because I hate rushing and I don't want to be there late. Like we could be late, but then we're just taking up our time. And you you think like, oh, 15 minutes, it's a lot for like taking pictures. But girl, no, the time goes by fast. And when you need to like change poses and maybe move around, like, no. You like definitely need to be there on time. Oh my gosh, I always forget to do my eyebrows first. And then another thing is that I don't have our old outfit ready either, girl. So yeah, the outfits are going to take the most time. So that's why I want to be ready faster and not be there late. So we can have the full 15 minutes just in case we need to change like different, um, walk around the park and take in different places, you know, because they know that park um and yeah but i'm excited to take pictures there let me just <laughs> let me just not stress out too much about the wardrobe i don't know it's because these are gonna be pictures forever you know so i'm like oh, the outfit is so important and again there's like no uniform that like you can follow and you could be like oh this is what i'm going to wear for the holiday photo like people have different have worn different things and i don't know i feel like if you want to be a little bit more formal you wear a dress or like like stockings or something but if you don't want to be too dressy people have worn jeans and like a nice top so i don't know but i don't think i'm gonna do jeans like that's just not my style so we'll do a little bit more formal but nothing too crazy either. Like, I feel like that red dress would be nice, but it's, I feel like it's too formal. I don't know. We'll try it on too. So we'll have all those options. And then I feel like Raul would be easier because it's just like, I think he is going to wear some jeans. I don't, um, or maybe some slacks, but if, but like even in jeans with guys, like it doesn't even look like that bad, you know, like too informal if he has like a button up like i feel like he would look really handsome like that with the button up oh my gosh you guys see this and you're like oh, what is that it's too much i know i need to blend it um so that's why i'm trying to do this fast and then if i need to retouch my hair or retouch it but i'm gonna curl my hair as well kind of like be ready and sort of like let's say i am running pretty late my my first option that i'm gonna wear is that pink dress so if i'm like okay i just can't i can't like i don't have time i'm going to end up going with the pink dress but the pink dress is just really hard to match with roll so girl i am stressing about this mariela too she was calling me and she was like what do i wear and i was like girl don't put another stressor on me like you have to match with uh with leo you pick whatever you want but she was in the same. It's kind of like, okay, what do you wear? Like, do you go formal? Do you go semi-formal? Do you go casual? And I'm like, I know. That's my dilemma. Like, what is it that you wear, you know? So that's our problem, too. My love was having the same problem. And I was like, girl, no. Just pick whatever you want. Whatever you feel comfortable. <laughs> so definitely the wardrobe in these pictures is a little stressful more than the makeup and the hair. Pero ahí vamos. But again, super excited. And yeah, I don't know why it took me so long. I really hope that I can pile up like pictures over the years. Because we have 13 years, girl. Like 13 years of like Christmases together. And yeah, like this is our first professional pictures. We've never sent out like Christmas cards or anything like that. Like how cute. We always get Christmas cards um from my friends and some of my friends have been doing them for like ever with their family and you can see them grow i keep them all for the hard part the eyeshadow again nothing too crazy 
let's just do some sparklies you know but you know what i'm also excited for for marila to have like professional pictures with leo like mm, that's so cute you know ahorita que todavía está chiquito and like kind of see how they grow and all that stuff i'm excited for her to have those pictures of him as well so it's like i don't know overall i feel like taking professional pictures like it's such a good thing you know because then you have them for a long time and they'll fa all the family looks really cute and all of that you know so yeah so if you've been thinking about doing it you should do it i think i'm just gonna go with something like this and just put it all over my eyelid and then do like um glitter like on top and i think that would be good because again i don't know what i'm wearing <laughs> that's like the um, that's the theme here girl the theme is i don't know what i'm wearing so let's do like these two i think will be good and then my hair i just hope that it stays <laughs> i just need it to stay for a little bit honestly like not too much just for a little bit okay i think that's something i feel like that's good enough you know like not too much perfect okay just to finish off i'm just gonna do my mascara you guys my coffee look i went to get a coffee for me with chido in the morning and they made it so milky so i had to come home and i put an espresso shot it tastes so much better i need another shot girl it was so milky but i was like whatever i'll just add a shot out at the house but now right now the holiday drinks are out and girl Chestnut praline is my favorite, like from the holidays. It's so good. The camo brulee is also good, but chestnut praline, so good. So, so good. If you guys want to try it and you're shaking espresso or the latte. I got Raul the latte. But let me just finish off my mascara. I think the look is coming together. All right, so that is my makeup again. I don't think anything out of this world, but I always look so much different whenever I wear a little bit fuller makeup. So I like it and man i don't know if i should do my hair like in the middle or i feel like a side part looks really good on me too which one do i do it like this like that would look so good too and then just curl my hair let me see let me see if it's given what i wanted to give you know i feel like sometimes the side part looks good and other times it doesn't so let's see what do you guys think? Side part or down the middle? That's the side part. Because then I feel like once you start curling it, you really can't change up the part. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Or regular down the middle. I just feel like right now you can't really tell too good. Or maybe I'll just do it and then I'll move the side part if I need it to. But let's start like this first. Um, I'm really not going to do like anything too crazy besides just curling it with my curling iron. I think it's like a one inch, it might be a one inch and that's it. I wanted to do the heatless curls thing. I just got them. I think I showed you guys in one of the vlogs and I actually really like it. And I think those things work like, and I'm pretty sure they're like life changing. But my problem is that I have to practice a lot when it comes to stuff like this, where there's like a learning curve. I'm definitely at the bottom of the learning curve and it takes me a long time to master something. Like even the Dyson that's like pretty user friendly. It took me a while to master it. So the, this one is taking a while as well, but it's not too terrible. It's just that I can only really do it on my days off. Like I can do those curls because when I work, like I get out so early and then I put my hair in a hat. So, or maybe I, like if I wanted to do it today, I probably could have put it on like since the morning and then just had them all morning long. But I went to work out and yeah, like if you work out too, there's no point. I sweat so much when I work out. Like, the van a caer those curls, you know? But definitely, it's a good hack. Like, a good, good hack. So, if you guys been thinking about it, just try it. It's actually really good. Your curls come out good. Like, it's something that you would do in the night. And they'll be ready in the morning. 
so I do like it. I feel like for once in a while I will do it. And I was thinking of this today, but yeah, I worked out in the morning and I was like, no, I can't do it. So it's like just the curling iron will do and hopefully the curl stick. I really like these glass straws. I'm being really into them. And my gusta the plastic ones. Okay, you know, some bounce, some curl would be good. Oh, I told you guys that my hair has been getting like so long and now I like it. My layers help. Um, and I really like the way everything's coming, like how it looks every day. Um, but I was thinking like, what made my hair grow? Because my hair, it doesn't really grow too fast. Like it kind of grows slow. But it's also not like super slow either, but it takes a while to grow. And I was just like thinking i was like what have what have i done and i really haven't done anything i've always taken vitamins like biotin collagen like all those vitamins like i've i've taken them for a long time and i don't know if it's a mixture of that just me changing my my diet but the only other thing that i've done is that i use the bondi bondi boost i think it's called bondi boost hair growth shampoo and conditioner and i've only bought in one bottle of each and i've had it for like girl like like five six months yeah it's in the second one ahorita, but i feel like that's the only thing like if there's something that i'm like oh what made my hair growth i think is that shampoo and conditioner so maybe that's what that was and right now i think sephora is having a sale so it'll be good to grab it right now to refill the Bondi Boo's hair growth. I had just bought in it because I saw that it, it was um, like for hair growth. It's not that high on the Yucca app, I think. Like, I think it's in the 60s, honestly. I would have to scan it again. But um, the hairs and shampoos, they don't really have a lot of like high ones. I don't know why. But I feel like that one probably is the one that has helped my hair grow more. And my hair's like pretty smooth so if i'm going to have to give credit to something i think i'm going to give credit to the shampoo and conditioner if you guys want to try it okay we're done with the first half of the hair i think this looks good even if it falls i'll have some type of wave you know going on so perfect okay i need to hurry hurry girl because it's already two like 220 and we have to leave by 3.30 just in case there's traffic. Because, you know, you always got to plan for traffic here in LA. It's not too far from us, but I just don't, you know, again, I don't want to be late. <laughs> I don't want to be late. And I'm, right now, you know what I just thought of it? Is that, like, I was like, I don't know if I should, if I want to take, like, like, another outfit just in case. Like, because I feel like the photographers would tell you, like, Oh, like this outfit kind of doesn't mesh well with the background or it washes you out or something like that. So like if that's the case, I'll have like a backup, you know. So I think I want to do that as well. I mean, I need to pick my outfit outfit and then my backup outfit just in case. I don't think we're going to change or anything. Like one outfit is fine. Like I don't want to do multiple changes and then that will cut into, you know, the time. So just... You know, just to have a backup. Like, that's all I want to do. So, let's finish this other half. And then we'll get to the good part about what I'm going to wear, girl. I need to hurry, hurry. And there is the finished product. Oh, okay. I hope that they stay. I feel like it's just simple, you know. Like, nothing too crazy. I know that's my thing with makeup and hair. Simple, nothing too crazy. <laughs> a ver, ojalá se quede. Okay, girl. Let's move on to my outfits. I need to try on everything to see how it looks, but let me show you really quick. Okay, so this is the pink dress I was talking about. Look, it has these little embellishments and then it's just slip all the way down. I love, but I just don't know if, how I'm going to match with roll with pink. And then this is another one that I have is short, but maybe I can wear medias and like a coat. Maybe that'll be a thing. And the other dress is just this black satin dress. It's very simple as well. So I can put like some boots or something else. So let's see what I end up wearing. Let me try everything. And then you guys will see the finished product. And then we'll get going. Um, I love my hair. I love it when my hair is like done. 
like it gives you you know some kind of wave some kind of mm, some kind of something in here so let's figure out my outfit let's figure out wichiro's outfit and then cuando nos veamos we'll be ready for our photo shoot you guys look at the aftermath of me trying on everything and picking up stuff for wichiro it's a mess a little sneak peek okay this is what i went with so you guys more outside because the lighting is better but look at this mess now girl don't judge but this is the look that i went with and then i have a coat that i'll wear on top and then i did a red lip what do you guys think i like it i love it okay let's go Oh, no, no, it's a para hombre, it's camiseta. Button up, Are you hungry? Button up, Rosita. Thank you. We got Leo's bottle over here. That was so much fun, and the photos, they look so good. Like, those cameras are just so good. They make a difference. Did you like it, Wichita? Did you like the photos? How was your experience? I like the camera. That's okay. Wichita, but she was giving us really good directions and all of that, which, like, you know, people don't know. Tú no sabes así. You know, you, you wouldn't listen to me if I gave you directions. And I told you that it looks different when you're behind the camera. Like, you see the people, and so you were able to tell them, like, what to do, how to pose. Pretty much everyday things you do. You Just think so? Yeah. Okay, one thing about Raul that you guys should know, my wichiro aquí, que lo quiero mucho. Yeah. He thinks anything, any job is easy. That's his toxic trait. That he thinks that any job is easy and that yeah. he can do it, anybody yeah. can do it. Yeah. Es que todo lo que te digo yo, like, you can do it, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> it's like, I can do it, that's easy. Like, we're talking about firefighters. ¿Y qué dijiste de firefighters? It's a season, all I had to do is play the water. I would have put on that fire already a long time ago. Because <laughs> he complains about how, you know, they don't put them out right away when they start. It takes him a while, and then he's like, why are they just standing there? Why don't they just throw water? I'm like, there's a system, but he just doesn't understand. Like, he thinks that things should just be easier. And I guess, I get it, but it's not that easy. That's his toxic trait from Wichiro. But I really, I love Elisa. Like, her and her husband are a team, but she, it was just by herself. And I love her. She's so sweet, and she, like, walks you through it. I really like her, and I really had a good experience. I loved it. Our first professional photo shoot. 10 out of 10 recommend. You, Chichiro, you like the two? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Right now we're gonna grab a uh, kind of dinner with Mariela and Leo really quick because then my hardworking Wichiro has to go to work. So we're gonna get food really quick though because ya ando un poquito hungry ese señor. No, sí. ¿No es cierto? No. Look, I'm right here with Leo. Mira, mira como come ice cream Leo. Mira. <laughs> I think it gives him like a brain freeze, so he doesn't want me to put it all in his mouth. Like, he just sticks out his head. Like, <laughs> like, if it was an ice cream cone. It's an ice cream cone? You can eat it. How did you like dinner? Did you like dinner? I took Mari and Leo to Kaba for the first time. You guys know I love that place. Mari, what did you think about Kaba? It was very healthy and delicious. Oh, yeah. Did I get it? Come Leo approved too. He was eating. Yeah, Leo was eating. He also liked it. And then we chido how to go to work. So then I'm just here with Mario. We're just gonna hang out. We got ice cream. Ira este bajando la la ventana. Leo, ¿quieres más nieve? ¿Quieres más nieve? 
And then we're just gonna hang out for a little bit, just for a little bit. Mari has a party to go to. Ah. But Mari, did you like your photo shoot? I definitely did. Anything that makes me have beautiful memories of me and my mini me. I know that's what I thought. Mm. That'd be nice pictures of you and Leo. Yep. He's going so fast. I know. Remember, he's a baby. Like when I called Stella Chiquitito. No.